The Nevada Board of Prison Commissioners has adopted regulations restricting the use of restraints on pregnant inmates and allowing the new mothers to use a breast pump. Approval of the policy follows a federal lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union of Nevada on behalf of Valerie Neighbors, a former inmate at the Florence McClure Women's Correctional Center. Neighbors was put in leg shackles after she went into labor and placed in shackles 10 minutes after giving birth in October 2011, even though she was deemed not to be a flight risk. Prison officials also confiscated a breast pump. Nevada officials in February settled the lawsuit for $130,000. Nevada's unemployment rate fell in January to 8.7%. January also marked the 37th month of year-over-year -year job growth. The Las Vegas area's unadjusted employment rate was 8.9% in January, the same as the previous month. The unadjusted jobless rates in Carson City climbed to 10.3% compared to the 9.2% in December. The Reno Sparks unadjusted unemployment rate was 9.1% in January 2014, which compares with 8.2% in December. More than 78,600 clean energy and clean transportation jobs were announced in 2013 at more than 260 projects tracked by the nonpartisan business group Environmental and Entrepreneurs Solar Power Generation was the year's top sector with more than 21,600 jobs announced. Other strong sectors included building efficiency and public transportation. Job announcements were made in 46 states, with California's roughly 15,400 jobs topping the list. Nevada ranks number seven on the top 10 list, with more than 3,300 jobs announced from 12 projects. Nine of these, or 75%, were in the solar industry. A state board could decide soon whether people stuck in the process of picking health coverage through Nevada's insurance exchange will be given additional time to complete their application. The Silver State Health Insurance Exchange Board meets today in Carson City. The enrollment period to avoid possible tax penalties ends on March 31st, but state officials say thousands of Nevadas who have attempted to buy policies may be stuck in the system because of computer errors and glitches. That's your news across Nevada. I am Carrie Shirell.